say that the enemy's got a place where they can't get food there, but I got news for them. God's cutting food on the mountain for them. <laughs> Through the United States, the Air Force is dropping food and water to them. Hey Amen. I'm going to tell you something. The enemy's on the run today because of God. Not because of the United States. God will send the enemy a pack. You know that? Hey Amen. I serve a God tonight, Larry. He's not going to feel me. I'm going to tell you something. These people are probably crying to the Lord right now, saying, Lord, take me home. I'd say they're in a place right now where they just soon go on. Yes. But I'm going to tell you something, church. God is not dead. <laughs> Praise the Lord. He's alive and well today. As many people, if like you'll listen to TV and they'll say Israel is the enemy of the world. Church, Israel is God, and He is the only thing that we need to hold on to. Because the world needs help today. And they threw the devil tonight. The devil's out to kill some and destroy. Yeah. But God said, I'm the one that sustains life. Yeah, I'm the one that can give you peace tonight. <laughs> Church, you're all yeah, looking man. for the things of the world. If they look to God, God will feed you. And He'll get the devil on the run. Yeah. The Bible yeah. says to draw nigh to me and I'll draw nigh to you. Yeah. People don't want to draw nigh to God. They want to draw nigh to something else. But God says you've got to draw nigh to me. Yeah, amen. I'm going to tell you something. Well, there's help tonight. There's help in God. Yeah. You need to run and get refuge. I'm glad I'm safe in the arms of God. I'm glad I can find help in God today. Yeah. I'd like to preach in chapter 16 of Acts. And I'd like to preach of people being saved by the river. Amen. I'm going to tell you something. There's nothing like baptism. I love to go down to the river and baptize people. It's something about being watery baptized. You know that? Yes, There's something about going down to the river and hear the people sing the song as we gather by the river. <laughs> Amen. One day we're going to gather by the big river. Amen. And the Bible said we're going to cross over that river. And the Bible said Jesus will hold our hand and take us to the other yes, side. Amen. Amen. Now here's some people here. Now listen, if you're lost this morning, all you got to do is call upon the Lord. Amen. I tell you, you've got to call upon Him and He'll save you. Yeah, Amen. Amen. The Bible said, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. Amen. I remember when I called upon Him, and I called upon Him with a broken heart and a contract spirit, and God save us such as does that, and He'll save you. Now the enemy is out to tell you that that is too easy. Church, God made it easy and baby can understand it. That's right. And he that believeth, the Bible said, God will have faith. He'll believe upon the Son of God. Yeah. You may be saved. Amen. Amen. And believe that God rose His Son from the dead. Yeah. The Bible said, Thou savest you from your sins. Amen. Amen. There is a remedy for sin. And His name is Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Acts chapter 16 and verse 13, on the Sabbath day. Acts chapter 16 and verse 13, and was on the Sabbath day. And the Bible said they went out of the city by a river side where prayer was wont, or made to be made, and were set down and spoken to the woman which resorted there. <laughs> Amen. How about you going down to the river? And Brother Ed, how about someone down to the river that's lost and seeing the people be baptized and all of a sudden you sit down by them and begin to talk to them about Jesus? Amen. And then you begin to talk to them about Jesus, just like the woman at the well, she met Jesus. The Bible said Jesus told her what she had to do to be saved. Amen. He said, told her, if you drink of this water, you're going to thirst again. Amen. But if you'll drink the water that I'll give you, Amen. and that spiritual water, Amen. he said, you'll never thirst. Amen. And then the woman said, give me this water. Church, there's people today don't want that water. They want the water from the sea down here that you can drink of and be thirsty again. But I'm so glad, spiritually speaking, I'm not thirsty this morning. Amen. Are you thirsty this morning? If you're thirsty spiritually, you need to come back to the Lord and let fill you back up. Right. And then the Bible said there's a reservoir for a Christian tonight that's full of water. And the Bible said there's the, the reservoir has holes in them and the water is leaking out. <laughs> if there's holes in your spiritual life, you need to get coming get the Lord to pluck you up. Amen. You need the Lord to put that stopper on your leaf today because yeah. if you've got a leaf spiritually tonight, that means the devil's getting in. Yeah. The devil will come in if you'll let him die. You know that? Yeah. He'll come into your life and he'll spoil it. I'm glad Jesus teaches me meat will spoil if you put it too hot out in the sun somewhere. If you have a dinner outside next week when we have homecoming and we leave the food outside, it'll spoil sooner or later. I'm glad Jesus ain't going to let me spoil tonight 
because he's got me in a perfect temperature. I'm glad my soul is kept by the Lord today. Yeah. It ain't kept by me. It ain't poor don't keep me. God keeps me. Yeah. Amen. I'm glad this church is where I come to get a little bit of food every once in a while and come and just sustain me. Yeah. But we met by the river. And the Bible says as he went down by the river, there's a woman seeking the Lord. And Paul goes over and begins to talk to her about the Lord. Amen. You'll never know about the Lord except someone tell you about Him. Amen. You need to know more about Him. Don't be afraid to ask me. I'll talk to you about Him. If you need to know more, ask Larry. He'll talk to you. If I ain't got time for you, you need to say, what's wrong with that boy? Amen. Amen. I'm going to tell you something. We need to stop what we're doing. I don't care if Ben Porter's putting a set of tires on. And there's a man wanting to talk to you about the Lord. You need to tell him, hey, let's shut this job down and let's talk about the Lord. Amen. 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 His soul is more precious than a set of tires. Amen. Amen. There's a guy I worked with at Marathon over there. I used to work with the tanks and put floors in. He was always praying. He said, Gary, I need to pray. He said, well, you know what? He said, let's pray. He said, if I'm doing right here, the boss will fire me. And I said, you know what? You pray where you want to. And if you pray, I'll pray with you. I tell you what, I was a whole watcher. And I could not leave the people in that tank unless I, unless I told them I was leaving. Well, he fell right down and started praying. And I told everybody to stop welding that we was praying outside. And you know what? They all came out and the boss come down here as we was praying. I told him, I said, if he fires you, I'll go with you. Amen. But I prayed with him right there at that time. I said, this job can stay waiting just for a little while because there's something more important in this well in this tank. This Amen. man's seeking the Lord. Right. Amen. Amen. I'm going to tell you something. Don't be afraid. God will take care of you. Amen. I told the boss, you fire me, somebody else will harm me. Amen. I'm going to tell you, I'll work for the Master. Amen. Amen. I work for the Lord. Yeah. He provides for me. Yeah. Money can be spent. God can't be spent. Amen. I'm glad today he's a helper in my present time. I need help. I go to God. Amen. And we knelt down and prayed with him. And I'm glad today that was a great day because he so sung good. all day from the time he knelt and prayed. As he welded, he was saying, Amazing grace, how sweet to sound. And he had the whole job talking about God. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something, church. God's worth talking about. Amen. Amen. You've got a question, you need to talk it over with him. Amen. Amen. You need to talk about it. And the Bible said in verse 7, and here as I read on the seventh day, they went down to one more that down. And a certain woman named Lida, a cell of the purple of the city of Etheria, which worshiped God, heard us, whose heart the Lord opened, that she attended to the things which was spoken of Paul. If God has to open your heart, if God will open your heart, I can't speak to you. Amen. You've got to open your heart to God this morning. And let God speak to you. Amen. What's important to you? Amen. Is it God or the world? And let God open your heart. I can't talk to someone if God's going to open your heart. People think I can talk to someone and get them saved. Me and Ed can't do nothing. We can't do nothing. Right, we can just talk to you if you're willing to talk. If you're not willing to listen to us, it don't do no good. Amen. You've got to get your ears open. Yes, amen. amen. You've got to be willing to learn yes. about God. It do no good to come to church being forced to come. You need to come on your own free will. Amen. 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 You need to get up and say, I'm going to church. As Andy already said, there's people that came to church to be saved. And the devil put a stumbling block before you. And you know who's doing it. It's the devil. The devil will have your car not start on time. He'll have you not be able to come to church. You'll have on your mind to be saved. The devil knows you're wanting to be saved. And he's going to try every way in the world to keep you from being saved. Amen. He'll try to get you not to believe. He'll try to get a, a phone book to drop to the floor. He'll try to get somebody to disrupt you. Anytime the devil will do to disrupt your mind off God. If you don't get your mind off God, I tell you what, you can't even say the Bible with a fan blowing, that TV on, that it'll be something to distract you. When you study that Bible, you need to get all the distractions off and study the Word. Because the devil's out to distract you in any way he can. Amen. And if you want to talk things over with God, Church, I'm going to tell you something. You need to get your mind ready and say that's the most important thing to me. And the Bible said they began to speak to her. And when she was baptized, amen, she must have believed. 
She must have opened her heart to the Lord. And Paul began to speak to her. And Paul probably said, you want to be saved. And she said, yeah, I want to be saved. I believe, Paul. I believe. And Paul baptized her. I tell you what, next Sunday, if there's people down there at that pool that wants to pray and get their sins forgiven, I'm sure Anna baptized them in the pool. You don't need to wait a week for baptism. You can be baptized the same hour you get saved. Praise the Lord, yeah. In fact, I've baptized people at Bryce Hart. They got saved tonight, and the boy got saved one night at church down there on a Sunday night. It was dark. And he came to me and said, Gary, would you baptize me? I said, I sure will. What time next week? He said, I want you to do it right now. <laughs> and I said, all right. I said, people, we, we got enough cars to, to shine the lights on the river, and the people got their cars and shine the lights on the river, and we walked out there and baptized him the same night he got saved. Amen. Amen. I will tell you something, church. If you get saved, you're a changed person. He didn't want to wait till next week. Amen. I want to do it now. Amen. 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 Because he said the devil might talk me out of it next week. I'm going to tell you, I tell you, the devil's a liar and the father of it. Sure. When I got saved, me and my wife got saved. She got saved on a Thursday. I got saved on a Sunday. And when she got saved that night, she came home. And I didn't know where she was. And she came in about 10 o'clock. And I said, where you been? And she said, you know what? You ain't going to believe it. I said, yeah, probably. I know where you been at. She said, I got saved. <laughs> I said, what? I've been praying for years. I said, Lord, if you save my wife first, I'll get saved. I know the Bible said, Lord, here I'm not a sinner. But I'm going to tell you, that's the way I pray. I said, Lord, I want to be saved. I don't think I can live without her being saved. And I said, Lord, you save her first, I'll get saved. Well, the Lord done His part. He said, now what are you going to do? You know what? I couldn't wait to get to church Sunday. I went to church Sunday morning with one intention to be saved. But you know what? I waited to the last second. I sat there and the devil said, you know, if you go right now, the people will laugh at you. They said, the devil told me, if you get saved, you're going to lose your friends. Oh, I thought about that the rest of that post-service. At the end of the service, the preacher says, anybody here want to be saved? Come right now. And I wanted to. Larry, I did. I wanted to go. I didn't make the move. And he said, anybody want to raise your hand in here? Would you raise your hand for prayer? And I raised my hand. Amen. I know the wife's saving. Amen. And he said, you know, I did hate ain't going to save you. But I'll pray for you. <laughs> and the Lord cut him in and said, you know what you asked me? You asked if your wife would get saved, you would. But if you don't go, I'm not calling you no more. That scared me to death. Amen. Amen. I got out of my seat and I went to the altar. And I don't know the steps I even took up there. But when I got down and prayed, I rose up. I had people, friends everywhere. The devil lied to me. Amen. And even the people that I thought of my enemies began to love me. Church, I'm going to tell you something. The devil's a liar to fall I felt Amen. the peace of my life. I felt my love at night, church. I've been me and Annie's been there 36 years. And I'm going to tell you something. I told her she'll tell you the truth. I told her, I said, if you ever tell me to quit preaching or quit going to church, I told her, I said, I'm not leaving God for you or nobody else. I'm going to stay with God till me and my part. Amen. Amen. I met a man that day that I'm married. And I'm not going to leave. Amen. 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 You took vows when you get married. I took vows to God. I said, for better or for worse. Amen. I'm going to tell you something. God's never let me be. I've been down to a nipple before. I sure have. I've worked before where I had a sick right under my car seat. I was working at Bellefond Hospital over there. Everybody going to lunch. They said, you want to go to dinner? I said, nah, I'd better stay around here. I was ashamed to tell them I didn't have no money to eat on. I went up to my car under my car seat and round up a dollar. I went down to McDonald's and bought a dollar. I'm glad they got the dollar hamburgers. Amen. Well, that dollar hamburger is pretty good when you ain't got no money. Amen. But you know what? I still love God. Amen. I was down enough. I still love God. Amen. And people say, God won't let you get that way, will you? I don't blame God. It was my fault. I was the one that fooled to spend my money. I'm going to tell you something. You can do things on your own. But God will help you if you'll say, God, forgive me. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to say this for the benefit of God. I don't know why I'm saying this, but they passed the offer plate here one time. I ain't going to say when it happened. I was down with $10 to my name. They was passing the offer plate, and God said, put that $10 in. I, 
And I wrestled with that. I said, that's all I got. Ten dollars is all I got. And I said, God said, give it to me. And I'll take care of it. I wrestled with that. The offer plate was not there. And I still had my hand on my bill phone. And I, was, and I took it back out. But when the offer plate got over here, I, I opened it up and I gave it $10. And once it left my hand in that little offering plate, it was no more mine. I trusted God. I said, God, you better take it. You got to choose now. He didn't bless me the next day or the day after that. But about a week later, I got a check in the mail that I didn't even expect to get. Amen. It came from overpayment of an insurance. Amen. And I said, Lord, I will never disbelieve you again. Amen. I want to tell you something, church. If you're put in out of the heart, God will bless you. Yes, amen. I don't care this morning that you got $10,000 and you put in $500 for this church out of the abundance you got. The first Sunday in this church to put the last time they got in. And you trust God. And give it to Him and you say, God, it's yours. You ask the woman with the two mites, would she put in all she had? God said that woman put all she had in because she put in her heart. Amen. This woman down by the river was praying for salvation. And the Bible said Paul spoke to her. This little lady got saved a few weeks ago because she sat on the front row and she began to be convicted by God. God drove her. Amen. Amen. God don't speak to you. That's what makes you cry. Isn't it? Amen. Amen. She told me, I see her at the flea market a few weeks ago. We was talking about church people not wanting to go to church. She said, I love to go to church. Amen. Amen. A girl at that age loves to go to church. Amen. Amen. I'm glad today. She's a lot to me. She can help me. That's what she said. I love going to church. Amen. You see them in church. They don't come regularly. They come because they can't wait to get up. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Get up and go. Amen. I can't wait to get to the house of God. Hey, come on Sunday morning. This is the day of Sabbath day. This is the day God said, come and honor me. Amen. This is the day He gives you six days to work. But on one day He says, come and worship me. We need to serve God every day. But there's one day, Oscar, we need to lay aside. Amen. Yeah. Now sometimes I know she's got to work on Sundays. <coughs> sometimes you've got, to work, you've got a job. But church, give the Lord a part of it. Amen. Give the Lord some of your time. Amen. And He's been good to you. And He's worth coming to you.